The UK government has released plans to help people fighting the rising cost of energy. All households in England, Scotland and Wales will get a £400 discount on their energy bills, regardless of income or size of the house they live in. The money will not be credited as a lump sum payment, but be dispersed in six instalments, with £66 discounts distributed from October to November this year, which will then be upped to £67 from December to March next year, the coldest months experienced here in the United Kingdom. How Britons will get the support deal depends on how they pay their electricity bills. Those who pay by direct debit will see an automatic deduction from their final bill. Those using prepaid meters will get an automatic top up which can be used for future payments, while others will receive monthly vouchers via mail or text. These vouchers can then be redeemed at the nearest post office. The discount approach is receiving some flack from the UK's non-governmental organisations, though. They say low-income households and the elderly, who actually might need that payment, could suffer. They're concerned they're likely to face difficulties in accessing that aid, and they're also concerned they could be left at risk of scams. The Energy Department says it will not ask for bank account numbers while distributing the vouchers and are advising people to keep an eye out on their mailboxes instead. Well, for more, we're being joined by our London correspondent, Sally Patterson. Sally, just give us a bit of background as to what exactly has led to these huge surges in energy costs. Absolutely. Well, we've seen global prices for gas and energy soar since Russia's invasion of Ukraine earlier this year. Whilst the UK is not one of the main importers of Russian gas, unlike a lot of Europe, for example, Germany, which is really reliant on gas from Russia, we do still import a small amount, though the government is saying it's going to be phased out. However, what's more relevant to us is that global prices have massively shot up since the war began. And that's meant that suppliers are, having, are facing higher costs when bringing in any gas from around the world. That cost is therefore being put onto customers' shoulders through something called the price cap, which is set by Ofgem, which is the energy regulator. And Ofgem is going to put up the price cap, which will mean that households will be paying far, far more than they currently are. It's looking that household bills, energy bills, could almost double by the beginning of next year, going from around £2,000 to around 3800 Well, Sally, we've already heard that there's been some criticism of the scheme that the government has set out, concerns about potential scams, that older people might not be able to access that money that easily. What else has been said about this plan? Well, the reality is that many people just say this isn't going far enough. This is not going to make a dent in the total costs that people are going to have to pay, because let's not forget that it's not just energy costs that are on the rise. General cost of, cost of living uh, costs are just massively increasing. So whether that's fuel that people use for their cars, whether that's clothing, whether that's food, all of these are on the rise. And as we go into winter, there's concerns that people are just going to find it more and more difficult. We heard from a spokesperson from fuel poverty charity National Energy Action earlier who told media there is a lot of fear about how people are going to survive this winter. They said, I don't think that this is going to be sufficient to help people cost to help people cope with the cost of living this winter. So as you say, there are also potential scams that could really affect older and vulnerable people. And there is real concern that for people who who don't have prepayment meters and they don't uh, have a direct debit to pay their bills, they could find it the most difficult to access this grant and other grants coming from the government, which mean that the people who need the help most might find it the most difficult to access that support. Sally Patterson in London, thank you for that update.